Are you an illustrator that works in traditional mediums and are interested in surface pattern design? Do you possibly paint with watercolors or use gouache or even sketch with color pencils and you want to learn how you can take your traditional artwork into the digital medium for commercial use as surface pattern repeats? Well, in today's class, I'm going to walk you through how I digitize my traditional artwork and translate them into surface pattern designs using Affinity Photo version 2 on the iPad. Working with traditional mediums doesn't mean you have to always create your repeat by hand. And in this case, I will show you my process for taking traditional artwork into the digital realm that still keeps its handmade look, but still offers a quick streamlined process. Hi everyone, if this is your first class with me, welcome. If you're a returning student, welcome back. I'm Jen and I will be your creative guide throughout this course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest, and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you want to learn more about me, check out my YouTube channel, The Creative Studio. I share helpful creative tutorials on art, design, and more, as well as behind the scenes of the work that I do as a creative freelancer and educator. If you want to see some of my design and illustration work, you can visit my website at www.bellasofiacreative.com, and you can find some of my surface pattern design work over on Spoonflower. I'll make sure to leave a link below. So in today's class, we are going to be exploring the creative place where traditional art meets digital art, and it's a really fun place to design. While I often work digitally, I really enjoy working with watercolor and other traditional art mediums like paint, gouache, and color pencils. When you work traditionally by hand, people think that it's difficult to translate that to a digital product, but in reality, you can still take those pieces of art to a digital format. I like to do this for easier access when it comes to any commercial projects that I might be working on or projects that require digital files. Creating surface pattern designs with traditional work is a fantastic way to do this. As we work together today, we will go through the process of prepping it for use in a repeat pattern, learning how to create the pattern in Affinity Photo, exporting your final file, and some of the ins and outs of the new version 2 of the Affinity Photo app. If this is your first time taking one of my classes relating to surface pattern design, definitely make sure you check out my previous surface pattern design courses. I have a variety that cover everything from basic level topics that walk you through the entire process of designing from concept to final pattern to more advanced classes that explore building specific types of repeats like half drop patterns and so much more. While this class is focused on using the Affinity version 2 apps on the iPad, I also have courses that walk you through the design process using the desktop Affinity apps. Um, as well as the version one apps. In this class, I will walk you through my process on how to create a repeating pattern from traditional art. And in my case, I will be working with watercolor work using the Affinity Photo 2 version iPad app. I will first walk you through preparing the artwork for use in digital formats. We will go over how to get your work onto your iPad. We will walk through how to photograph using your iPad camera to make it easier to isolate your design elements. Go through how to clean up your artwork and how to isolate your design elements and take away that pesky white paper background. We will also review exploring color variations of your artwork. Then we will begin to build out the repeating pattern using the design elements elements in Affinity Photo version 2 on your iPad. Finally, we will test and export the final for use with print-on-demand sites like Spoonflower. Make sure that you check out the class resources for some helpful tools that you can utilize while you're working on your class project. You can also check out inspiration over on my surface pattern design Pinterest board and I'll leave all of that linked in the project description. So in order to take this class, you'll need a few tools. The first would be an iPad with the Affinity Photo 2 app installed. I also suggest using some sort of stylus. It could be a stylus of your choice or you can utilize the Apple Pencil. I just like it because it has such great usability, especially when it comes to pressure sensitivity. Finally, you'll want some pre-made artwork in a medium of your choice on non-textured white paper. It's really important to have that non-textured white paper because it just makes the whole photographing process so much easier when it comes to having to remove that white paper background. So who is this class geared towards? This class is geared towards anyone interested in learning how to translate their traditional or analog art to a digital medium and create repeating patterns with them in Affinity Photo version 2. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, this course will go through all the steps necessary to bring your traditional artwork into the digital space. 